there is something very dramatic about having black in a space, but it does something. It sort of anchors everything. It does. And you know, I like also dark floors, like black yes. wood floors. And if you do them in a wire brush matte finish, they're very forgiving. Mm -hmm. um, and, and people think, oh, a black floor. But you remember, you're covering a lot of it with area rugs. You're not seeing a whole expanse. But if you don't have that, a great way to anchor it is a carpet. So this carpet is in the blacks. The white has a little bit of beige in it. Mm -hmm. And that anchors this whole space. So you want to balance it out. We use, and, and this shows how to do this in a neutral space. So you see, nice. the, isn't that a great coffee table? Oh, I like, like the texture. Green. Yeah, great texture. And also, speaking of the coffee table, look at the finishes. So one of the things that warms up black is brass. Yeah. And we've got a lot of different ones. This is a very subtle brass. And then the lamp has a much bolder, sort of goldy brass. The same with the end tables. So that warms it up. When you think of using black with chrome, mm -hmm. it's a little colder. When you mix it with brass, it's a little warmer. And you can even mix it with more traditional pieces because of the gold in some chests and chairs and things like that. And don't be afraid to mix your metals. Don't be afraid to mix your metals at all. We're in that era now where it's about mix and match and, and everything sort of flowing together. Yes, completely. And the black works great with neutral. So if you have yeah. a neutral sofa like this one, we, we bring in the black. And then we're seeing black leather get a little cooler. Because yeah. a lot of the black leather furniture is big and bulky and sort of puffy. And this is great for smaller spaces in front of windows where you want the light. I love the black leather on the metal legs. See, the metal has mm. the black also. Very comfortable chair, um, and also with the bench having the black leather with the brass also. Interesting mix, but don't forget color. So we brought in some of the rust with the black, yeah. and that adds a pop, because you want to just ignore color at all. That's right. So remember all the viewer questions we used to get in with yes. the gentleman in the house with the big, punchy, big, fat, big. reclining chair. Where he disappeared. He went, it's like a marshmallow. He yes. went in and, woof. And this is where he lived, and it was in front of the television. This is such a good alternative for that because you can see it's very comfortable. That fits like a bum and a half. Oh, it, it's unbelievable. Depending it's, on how big exactly. your bum is. It's really wide. It's wide, And though. it has a high back, so it, it holds holds your head yes. and that's what people liked about that big puffy furniture yeah. but think you can still get comfort in sort of a more modern approach right. and also a little hip idea is to put black lampshades on your lamps mm, that, that has a lot of drama and this one has gold inside yeah. so you can buy lampshades and put them on your existing lamps when it has gold inside you get this really warm beautiful light it is so nice and then also that's carried up right into the art uh, there's something so beautiful and simplistic about having black frames on your art with the white matting and then you still get that me the metallic flavor there in the art. Exactly. So use black frames. That really adds a pop. Whether it's something like this or photography, that's a great pop for a space. Now even if this space was multicolored, even if you were using yellows and greens and reds, okay, that's I went way too far there. But Don't let's say crazy. there's a lot of, yeah, let's not go crazy. <laughs> There's something to be said about how adding that extra black. It's almost the thing that's going to finish a room off. It's going to make it look like it's done. Well, you see, there's a lot of spaces I look at and I say, mm, they're almost there. They're a little bland. Yeah. You need some contrast in a space. Mm -hmm. So whether it's an accent chair, a picture frame, a carpet, the accessories, you yeah. need a contrast. If the whole space is the same color, if the right. whole space is light, it, it, you need that to give you the drama. That, this yeah. is what gives you the drama and a little bit of the glamour. Yeah, and even if it's in a book, and even if you've never read that book ever in your life. It's all about the look. Look at how good it looks on your table. <laughs>